Verizon announcing a new initiative to help bridge the digital divide. Beginning May 12th, customers that meet the FCC's income-based requirements will temporarily receive monthly discounts of up to $75 per month on the company's broadband services. The company also announcing a training initiative with the National 4-H Council to bring digital skills to rural communities. Joining us now for a first on CNBC interview to talk about this and much more is Verizon chairman and CEO Hans Vestberg. Welcome back to the show, Hans. Good to see you. Great to be here. Thank you for having me. So COVID-19 has really shined a light on this digital divide, the haves and have-nots when it comes to online learning for broadband and online work, remote work. How, how big is that gap in America? I think what has happened is that we're probably leapfrog five to seven years when it comes to online work and uh, digital usage in the in the country. And of course, uh, that means also that we have opened up a gap in the in the country where uh, not everyone has a broadband service. I usually tend to say that mobility, broadband, and cloud services is the 21st century's infrastructure, and and we see it in full live right now in this uh, tragic situation with the pandemic that is so important to have in order to actually do your work or your education or or staying connected with your friends. So that's why we probably we have a bigger gap right now, but we also have an opportunity to bridge that gap and see that wherever you live or wherever you come from, you have the same chance as everybody else. You're obviously targeting rural communities where a lot of these problems lie. Is it an affordability or an access problem for attaining broadband? <laughs> We outline our program in three buckets. So number one is the access, the other is affordability, and finally is the application. So on the on the accessibility is of course we're going to build even more out in the in the rural areas, and we commit a billion dollar for building in the most rural areas. And then when it comes to affordability, you mentioned yourself in the in the start of this program, uh, and then we have added FIOS Forward, which is for low-income families, where we have an, uh, an offering. So there we're going to help with the lower offerings for uh, for low-income families. Uh, and then finally, we are working with education. As you also mentioned, we are doing training uh, for technology, but we also are doing our Verizon Innovative Learning, which is now in 400 schools, which is broadband devices and also STEM education. So yeah. all in all, this is over a five-year time period in investment and more than three billion US dollars. And we think we can support in all three because all three needs are addressed to, to bridge the digital divide in the United States and also in the rest of the world, uh, actually. It's something, Hans, that the administration does want to target in its latest infrastructure plan. Do they go far enough? toward addressing this issue? I think we're, we're, at least we come from our industry, we think that the, the most uh, sensitive areas is around the affordability and application. And there we really need the federal government to be part of it and see that uh, the low-income families can access good broadband services dedicated for them. And the same goes for the applications, that there are telehealth applications, there are uh, remote learning educations that are uh, sort of in the cloud or can be delivered uh, remotely. That there, I think, the main part that we think uh, the government can do, I think the private money on building accessibility, you have seen how that uh, has actually uh, kept all the networks up in the United States during the COVID better than any other country in the world. So we just need to continue to build that out. And I think that all carriers are committed to that. We are very committed to that. And especially now, right now, when we can do fixed wireless access to the rural areas, it's going much faster that we can cover the last part of uh, the, the people on this, uh, uh, in this country that is not connected. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.